Independent schools have a tremendous history in developing new ideas and what I see are lots of good, sometimes small, sometimes bigger ideas being created in independent schools across the country. Get the big picture and you start seeing how independent schools can have a profound effect on the way we perceive teaching and learning to work. We started our own courses because we felt that GCSEs really didn't uh, match the school's aspirations and in particular the school's central academic aim which is to create inquisitive thinkers with a love of learning who cherish independent thought. The people marking your course are teaching you the whole time and you can just sort of stray off syllabus a little bit and just find out so much more about the subject. Being independent allows you to take initiatives, to take risks, to, to just get on and do things rather than worry about whether you should do them. STEM subjects and STEM related industries will be a key driver to any future economy and the UK needs people expert in those areas in order to drive that forward. I went to the head of technology with an idea to build a quadcopter and he said to me that he'd uh, fund the project. Partnerships are critical for any school for a very simple reason that with the benefit of a truly exciting, privileged and liberating education comes the responsibility to give back. We set up the Harris Westminster Sixth Form to provide a Westminster education for the brightest young people coming out of the state system. Our moral purpose is to educate bright boys in the city of Birmingham uh, and the more assisted places we have, uh, the more we get that social diversity. It's representative of Birmingham as a city in the way that Birmingham itself is also massively culturally diverse. For us, outreach is an important part of the Assisted Places scheme. We think we are beneficiaries, but also the junior schools are increasingly delighted with what we can provide for them, so everybody wins. Education is about supporting pupils academically, but it's also about educating the whole child. At Benenden we would call that the complete education. I think we've got a much more balanced approach, um, a much greater awareness and then less fear. And because of that, we're dealing with things much earlier. The innovation for us at Pocklington School is to move from a traditional school counselling mode to work with two clinical psychologists in a systemic way that engages the school and the family but with the child always at the heart. This is a high performance environment but it's a high performance environment across everything that we do and not just academics. When I was in year seven my mum was diagnosed with breast cancer and the school were always there for me and it was really good to have someone to talk to. We've already seen the, the benefits in the way that they carry themselves throughout the school. They just generally seem to be more conscious of themselves. We're living in a world where digital is everywhere. It's exciting, it's challenging, and we've got to ensure that our teachers have the support to ensure their students are ready to be living in that world. There are platforms out there that you can access through a device like this, which make the creation of our own resources easy. Well, I think we're on the cusp of really exciting changes in education. Just as I retire, it starts getting really interesting. One of the ironies is that people sometimes assume HMC is some historic throwback to the middle of the 19th century. But when HMC is really engaged, it can have a very powerful effect 
on education for all our children across the country. Mm -hmm.